Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is No Code School and today we are going to be showing you how you can create a simple website just like this using Webflow. Here we are on the Webflow homepage and compared to other website builders that we have covered in the past, Webflow provides a much more advanced and professional editor that takes no code website building to the next level. So let's get right into it. Before we move on to the video, I just wanted to point out that a large proportion of our viewers are not actually subscribed. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more, please consider subscribing. It helps us out a lot. So we've signed into webflow.com over here. So let's go over here to our view dashboard. And as you can see, we have our workspace here, our demos workspace. And we have a website over here. It's called demos groovy site. And what we've done is in order to publish our website to a custom domain, we've taken a site plan on the Webflow website. So for our website, we've taken the basic $15 per month plan. And you can do this as well if you wish to publish your website to a custom domain. So now let's get right into building our Webflow website. Let's open the designer. And here we have it. Here is our Webflow designer. There are a number of elements around here that we'll come to understand as we go through this tutorial. Now what we're going to be building here today is a simple one page website for our YouTube channel No Code School. So let's start out by coming here to the add symbol. And for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to be working with pre-made layouts. As you can see, there are a number of layouts that you can add directly to your website. So to start off, let's add a sticky navigation bar. This bar will stay constant as we move through our website. So let's change our navigation logo here. If we click this and come to settings, we can choose an image and upload. So let's add our No Code School logo here. And there we go, that's added. And for our page, let's decide to have a about section and a our work section. And we can change this button text. Let's make it a big subscribe button. And I'm just going to tweak a few of the details here. Let's change the font of our text. Let's make it Montserrat and this as well. I think I'm going to bolden it a little bit. Let's make it 700 bold and let's increase the size of it as well. Let's make it 20 and similarly for these, let's make it 20. Okay, now we have our sticky navigation bar. Next, we can add a layout. Let's say we want to add a landing page layout kind of. So let's go ahead with this hero overlay and there we go, we have it on our page. And let's add an image in the background over here. Let's choose the background and over here we have our settings to change a bunch of different assets, size, position, typography, etc. We're going to go directly to our image and choose an image to add. Let's upload an image. There we go. Over here we can change it from this block block view to a cover image. Now I'm going to change some of this text. And let's change up how this text looks. So let's go over here to our settings and change the font. And we're going to make this button a subscribe button as well. So let's just quickly do that. And I think I'm going to change the color of this button to a purple to match the theme of the page. We can use the eyedropper tool to pick up a purple from here, our canvas. Let's go with that purple. There we go. And let's make this the same color as well. Let's make this button more noticeable. Let's change the color to a... There we go. Let's make it that gray. And these elements seem too close together. So maybe we can change the padding on some of these. And you can do that here with this nice little editor over here we have. So let's change the padding on some of these. You can just hold here and then increase it like this. And if you do the same for this text right here, we can increase it like this. So we go, there's some padding between the elements there. And now we can work on our about page. So if you come over here to the add button and click layouts, let's add this hero layout here. Let's drag it and bring it down here and let's add it there. So now we have over here our about section. We can change the name about and I'm just going to fill this with some text. And this button can be a subscribe button as well. So here we have our landing page and our about page. Let's add an image over here. Choose an image and let's add this logo right here. Okay. 
we can say make it so that this nav link takes us to our about part of the page about section so here we have a link settings we can make it go to a different page or to a page section which is what we're going to do and choose our hero so now if we preview our page we can see this is our page right here if you click the about link it takes us to our about part of the page so there we go now we can get out of the preview mode and let's actually increase the size of this text right here okay done and of course let's add some more padding and now we're going to add an our work section so let's go over here and go to layouts and we're going to add cards right here so there's cards and now we can come down to our card section that we've added over here and let's change it to and let me add some text over here okay and we're actually going to reduce the size of our cards element we're going to delete this part and just have two thumbnails that we're going to add over here delete this column and now we have just two columns and click done and let's add some thumbnails right here we can delete these text boxes we don't really need them let's add some thumbnails over here let's go to settings choose image upload now it's not perfect but this is just for the sake of a tutorial uh, let's just add our video titles here there's our thumbnails and our titles and now let's make it so that our our work nav link navigates to our section here so let's go choose a page section and go to card section so now i think our simple website is complete now all that's left to do is to make our subscribe buttons actually navigate to our youtube channel so let me just do that real quick so we can click our button here and our link settings and we can add our url over here let's say open in a new tab and similarly let's do so for all the subscribe buttons on our page okay now let's preview our website so as you can see here we have our navigation bar which stays constant as we scroll through our website and then we have our links about our work and subscribe so here we have our no code school educating the public our about page and an our work page and our links navigate to these particular sections and when we click subscribe it takes us to the no code school youtube channel so now all is left to do is to show you how we can host these websites so if you come over here and click publish we can publish to a webflow.io domain so let's try that let's publish to the selected domain okay now it's published to this to the webflow.io domain so if you go to our domain right here we can see it is published we click about it goes to about page we click our work and it comes down here and subscribe takes us to our youtube channel and that's how you publish to your webflow.io domain now if you want to do it to a custom domain let's click here to add a custom domain and here we have our custom domains page let's add a custom domain so now there is a domain that we have uh, this is our domain that we currently have the demo website.xyz so let's take this and write it here and add domain now our domain has been added but we need to make a few changes to our dns settings so let's go to our dns provider here cloudflare.com click our domain and go to dns settings so let's go over here and see what they're asking us to do so it says visit the admin console and create two a records let's create these records right here so if you click here add record and choose a and the name is at and the value is this so let's copy and paste save and let's add another one value is this so let's go there paste save so that we added two a records like they've asked now let's come down here and add the c name records that they want us to add so let's click add record and choose c name and the name is www and let's copy that and paste it here uh, and save and now let's add the txt record so let's go txt and the name is at again and 
uh, copy this and save. So now we can check the changes. Okay, so now we see that our issues have been resolved. Make sure that you set these proxy statuses to DNS only. And now we can see our issues have been resolved and it is connected. So now let's click the publish button and choose this and this. And we publish to selected domains. So now we can see our websites have been published. So if you go over here to the demo website.xyz, so we can see that our website loads into this custom domain right here. And the same will be true if we choose our www.domain as well. There we go. So there you go guys, that's how you create a simple website on webflow.com. As you can see, compared to website builders that we've used before on this channel, it's slightly more complicated, but it's really just like anything else. If you put some time into it, you'll understand how it works and you'll find out it's not as complicated as you thought it was. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, then leave a like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. If you have any no-code tools that you'd like us to cover in the future, please leave them down in the comments below. And until then, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.